thank you. Um, yes. Uh, so, so moved to be here and just um, grateful for uh, your presence, all of you who are here today to open this incredible uh, gathering and to, um, as Elizabeth said, um, begin by bearing witness to our mother earth. Um, I'm, I'm feeling very emotional right now, actually, um, speaking to you. And um, so bear with me <laughs> as, as we witness the feelings. Um, I wanted to just say again uh, that, as Elizabeth said, I, I received this practice from a 106-year-old Tibetan Lama living in a cave in a remote part of Nepal in 1990. So I've been um, so blessed to carry this practice that he gave me when I asked him, what can we do to bring healing and protection to the earth? And that was almost 30 years ago. And, um, you know, today, as, as we all are well aware, uh, the situation is um, even more dire. Um, but here we are, and we have the chance to uh, come together, to join together, to um, uh, contribute in each in our own way to the web of life and to participate with the earth as a living being of which we are a part in the healing and the restoration and the, the renewal that is called for. So this practice um, is about that. And um, as Elizabeth mentioned, um, these little clay pots come from the Tibetan tradition originally. And you can see one on the altar back there behind me. Um, I received 30 of these treasure vases from the lamas in Nepal who constructed them from clay, mixed a lot of sacred substances into the clay, and then gave them to us to fill and seal and bury in the earth uh, in places where healing and protection are called for. So we've uh, gone all around the world um, to communities and cultures, um, making relations through these little ambassadors that are the earth treasure vases. They become like living beings because they're filled with all of our most heartfelt prayers for uh, the earth, for the waters, for our communities, for whatever the, the suffering is that is um, in need of healing around the world. And everywhere we've gone, we've made relations with um, the elders uh, of those cultures, uh, the activists who are doing the work, um, and uh, regular folks like you and me who are concerned and, and who care. So, um, you know, the, the practice that I will lead you in uh, in a moment is drawn originally from the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, but it, it has become a very non-denominational and very open um, and inviting, I hope, practice that anyone can relate to. And um, it's so in that way, it's, it's really gone beyond its original um, uh, identification with, with the Buddhist culture that it comes from. So um, we invite you uh, into participating with the web of life. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, the opportunity of these times to come into right relationship with Gaia, with Mother Earth, and with each other. And I hope that this meditation will lead the way to that. So um, we also do, just to mention, we do this meditation every month at the time of the full moon because it's a moment that's shared around the whole planet and it connects us with the, um, the rhythms of, of Mother Earth. And um, so we do this every month. If you like it, you can continue to practice with us. And, um, and today being uh, the eve of the full moon and the beginning of this one world bearing witness, it's very auspicious to be uh, gathering in this way and practicing together. They say that um, the practice, uh, practicing meditation um, at the time of the full moon intensifies our intentions many thousand fold because of the power of the full moon. So um, 
Let's go into the meditation now, everyone. And uh, I hope you can hear me um, well enough. And uh, if you, uh, I'm just checking my chat box to um, see that everything is going well. And, um, and I think that it is. So uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to begin now in the meditation. <sighs> Again, feeling very, very moved to be here. So please, if you haven't already, find a comfortable position. Find your seat. Settle into it. Take a few deep breaths with me. Find that place of calm, abiding. Let your breathing slow down and settle. Just keep coming back to your breath. It's an anchor for the mind to drop into the body. Allow the body to relax, your belly to relax. And just now turn your attention to this moment, letting all the other thoughts of the past or the future fall away. And just bringing ourselves, all of us, wherever we are around the whole world, into this moment together to bear witness and to uh, form the intention now that we do this practice, not just for ourselves, but for the benefit of all beings. And then each of us in our own way, call upon all of our teachers and guides, and you might wanna close your eyes now, and just invite those sources of refuge, your your teachers, your guides, ancestors, elders, lineage masters, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, wisdom beings, whoever and whatever you feel connected to that inspires you, that reminds you of something so much larger than yourself. Take refuge in in that and invite their presence to be with us now. Ask for the blessings that they may share if we ask them uh, to come into our virtual circle and to bless everyone who is present for this meditation. And then receive the blessing of this love and caring and support and guidance and healing and clarity. Breathing that in, receiving, receiving this very present. healing energy from all of our sources of spiritual inspiration. And feel that love and that caring coming into your deepest heart of hearts. And breathing out, send that love out to everyone who is present for this meditation. And breathing in, receive the love that is being sent. And then just continuing to breathe in and out, sending and receiving this love and caring 
all around the circle, gradually expanding our focus to include all of our friends, families, communities, and all of those who this practice may serve. And imagine the circle, this circle gradually growing around the world from wherever you are, from this place, from this neighborhood, from this bioregion, country, continent, to include all beings in all places, everywhere, embracing the whole planet with our love. And now, as we can feel the love for the earth, for each other, for all beings, and we are aware of embracing this beautiful Gaia with our love and our caring, we need to also now become aware of those who are suffering the places where there is war, where there is poverty, disease, pollution, droughts or floods, anywhere where the need for healing is very great. And breathing in, and breathing out, send your love and your caring to relieve the suffering of the earth, of her people, and of all life, all around the whole planet. Recall the beauty and the goodness of life, the riches to be found everywhere in nature. And imagine that where there is hunger, we send food. Where there is thirst, water. Where there is homelessness, shelter. Where there is war, peace. Where there is sickness, well-being. And imagine there is enough for everyone, everywhere, no matter what. And breathing in and breathing out, imagine that where the earth is unstable, in danger, or out of balance in any way, that that area is brought great protection and healing, and that balance and harmony is restored. Imagine all of the riches and goodness of nature, the precious gifts of this earth that sustain life, and the very essence of the elemental energies of nature are being strengthened and revitalized all around this beautiful blue green planet that we call home. And now as we invoke the places where the earth treasure vases have been buried and planted in the earth around the whole planet, Imagine that each of these earth treasure vases are radiating light in every direction. 
sending healing and protective energies wherever it is needed, in whatever form it is needed. You can imagine rainbow light streaming forth from each of these earth treasure vases. Blue, white, yellow, red, green, and all the colors in between, and breathing in and breathing out. Allow that feeling of caring and compassion in your heart of hearts to grow. And send that feeling out in the form of light to all of the people, animals, plants, and places that are connected to these earth treasure vases that need healing and protection in the past, in the present, and in the future. The first treasure vase was buried in a cave above Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, the birthplace of the atomic bomb. And then we took one to the north in this bioregion to the source of the Rio Grande River in Creed, Colorado. And we took one to the south in their bioregion to where the Rio Grande River empties into the Gulf of Mexico, the mouth of the Rio Grande, the Gulf of Mexico. And then we placed one on the top of two mountains, one to the east called Mount Baldy on above Santa Fe, and to the west on top of Mount Chicoma, which is known as Tsikamu, to the Tewa people, the first people of this land, in whose church, this land, uh, this earth treasure vase mandala began. So you can imagine each of the treasure vases now, as I recite them, forming a kind of man, mandala or mandala around the whole earth like acupuncture points in every direction. To the Hudson River in New York, to the Headwaters Forest, an old growth redwood forest in Northern California. The Punta Cometa on the coast of Oaxaca in Mexico. Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Jacova, Kosovo. The Tritium Laboratory at the University of California at Berkeley. The Tao Dum Forest on the border of Thailand and Burma the village of Ein Karem in Israel, Palestine, Hiroshima, Japan, the cloisters in New York City after 9-11, the Biosphere 2 in Oracle, Arizona, The Martin Luther King Freedom Center in East Oakland, California. The source of the Ganges in India. The source of the Amazon in Peru. The Southern Pacific Ocean, 93 feet down in Agum Atoll, Trobrian Islands, Papua New Guinea. The Arctic Circle, Alaska. The Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, Colombia. Telawoyan Village, Lofa County, Voinjama District, Liberia, 
West Africa. The Blida River Canyon, Limpopo Province, South Africa. The Giza Plateau, Egypt. Haleakala, Maui, Hawaii. The Itombwe Forest, South Kivu Province, Democratic Republic of Congo. Avebury, England. Bindaluk, Jawang Country, Catherine, Northern Territory, Australia. Gabarmong, Arnhem Land, Australia. The Mackenzie King Park in the Ottawa River Valley in Ottawa, Gatineau, Canada. The original garden at Findhorn, Scotland. The great stupa of Bodhanath in Kathmandu, Nepal. The Flint Hills of Kansas in the heartland of America. The Santa Cruz Mountains near Silicon Valley in California. The Valles Caldera in northern New Mexico. Purnalulu, Bungle Bungles, the Kimberleys, Australia. Utyagvik, an ancient village on the northernmost point of land in Arctic Alaska. And the Hanford Nuclear Reservation on the shores of the Columbia River in the state of Washington. And more to come. 27 more earth treasure vases are waiting to be stewarded to locations around the planet. Filling out this global healing mandala for the earth and with the earth. So now once again, breathe in and breathe out and imagine that all that is needed to relieve the suffering of the earth can be seen as light radiating out from each of these earth treasure vases all around the whole earth in every direction. See the light like waves flowing back and forth from your heart to each of these earth treasure vases, energizing the vases and adding vitality and brilliance to the light that is then flowing out to the whole area in the sphere of influence of each of these earth treasure vases. Focus your concentration now on bringing healing and protection to the whole earth for all time. See the healing and protection radiating out from the vases like waves of light flowing back and forth endlessly. And imagine that the healing is accomplished and the vitality of the earth is completely restored. Imagine that the healing is accomplished and the vitality 
of the earth is completely restored. And now just let's take a few more moments in silence to rest without any effort, just recognizing the great interconnected web that is life on earth. And from this state of non-conceptual awareness, pray together that the compassion and peace that is our true condition may bring supreme happiness and benefit to the earth and to all beings. We'll just sit for another few moments in silence. May it be so. Now I'm going to um, actually uh, pick up the earth treasure vase that's on the altar behind me and open it to invite your blessings and prayers into it on this occasion. And uh, we invite you to Share what's in your heart, your prayer, your intention, your own blessing for the earth and for all beings uh, in the chat box. And Elizabeth, I believe, will um, guide that process. But for now, let me just get the treasure base and show it to you. So this is an earth treasure vase. It's a little clay pot and I'm going to open it to remove its um, silks, which represent um, the mandala, the mandala of the five Buddha families, which uh, like many mandalas uh, in the world and in indigenous cultures, the center and the four directions. And these silks, symbolize our prayers going out in all directions, in all the ways that it's called for. And uh, when the face is full with, with offerings, actual uh, symbolic offerings, we seal the cork, put the silks back on, seal the silks, put it in some kind of a protective container and bury it in the ground, in the land, like a seed filled with all these prayers for the earth. So here it is. Let's take another breath together and just find your heart, find your deepest caring, find uh, your offering. And if you have something you'd like to offer, um, please do so now, either psychically <laughs> or um, if you would like, we'd love to hear your, um, your blessings, your prayers in the chat box. So I'm curious if you're there, Elizabeth. And yes, yes, I'm here. Yes. <laughs> and with Thomas. And we we have a lot of a, a lot of prayers that are coming into the chat box. Um, one may Mother Earth receive fully all of our loving prayers and be restored unto her true original wholeness. And then please stop killing animals in barbarian ways and slaughteries. Uh, peace and healing to the earth. But I'd like to offer now, if you would like to speak your, your blessing or your prayer, you can raise your hand. And if you raise your hand, we will ask you, we can, we can ask you to uh, open your microphone so that you can 
you can say you can say your prayer right to Cynthia and into the to the face. So we have one. Know that, um, okay. All of the prayers that are being written. So Miriam. Uh, Miriam, let's see. Hello, Miriam, can you hear us? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes, yes we do. Okay. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm calling from Mexico. Um, and I felt this very big urge to, uh, to share <clears throat> right now that um, when I see the vase, I see the sacred human being. I, I see that we're filling our hearts um, with the, uh, sorry, I'm very emotional right now. <laughs> and, but um, <clears throat> I'm seeing our hearts that we fill everyone on the planet. Now there are those 27 vases that are coming, all those ones that are already there. But <clears throat> there is 7 billion vases that are going all around the earth right now that just needs to be filled with our prayers, with our love, that we just need to awaken to the love that is already there. And this is what I'm seeing in this amazing ritual and this amazing prayer that we're doing together today mm -hmm. so thank you thank very you. much thank you so thank much. you very much miriam it's so true that we are each vessels of the holy that's what we are so yes mm -hmm. thank you for seeing that and sharing that and awakening yes. us to that understanding we do have a second raised hand it's asima lila forest asima i will open your mic and there's so many prayers coming into the chat box thank you they will all go into the treasure base and maybe i can maybe i can read some of them for the divine masculine to deeply receive the love and unity of the divine feminine in all species may a renewed relationship generate healing Blessings and deep gratitude to our mother. She is always an unconditionally giving, and I send the deepest gratitude and all of my love back to her now. May this love restore her and empower her. Prayers of healing for all. Prayers for healing our mother earth. Prayers for all those suffering. May love surround our mother earth. Yay. And infuse all of our activities. May the universal first light radiate to all beings on and within earth and the solar system so that all are filled with love, creativity, joy, and tranquility. Love and acceptance of all humanity as we are the best and worst in love. Blessings for the awakening of, of the hearth, which is earth and heart at the same time. Thank you, Earth, for feeding us, watering us, breathing us. I'm sending deepest love and gratitude for all your gifts. May we wake up. Earth, I pray you will help us to wake up to the preciousness of all life and the elements. And I wonder, I wonder, Cynthia, if, if we, uh, let's see, maybe we can take one more person. Um, There's, have them, what uh, happened? The hands raised. Is there was the first one? Voice we would like to invite. Ah, I'm in an, Alvin and Ava. <laughs> These are friends of, of Cynthia's. Yes, please allow them to talk. <laughs> I'm we we can on. hear you. Whoops. Hi, hey. everyone. Mm, we would like to offer our prayers blessings of peace and healing to this vase that we are sitting with right now here on Crete. We are traveling now to Turkey to bury this vase. Mm. And we are very, very grateful to be part of this vigil. Mm. 
may all beings be reminded that peace is possible in every moment. And thank you all who made this possible, Elizabeth, Thomas, and Cynthia, and everyone else. It's, it's really beautiful and touching. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, everyone, um, our friends Alban and Eva, who are in Crete now, are making a, a walk to peace around the whole earth. And they are now carrying one of the treasure vases themselves to be wow. buried in Turkey, uh, I think sometime in January, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll keep you posted on their travels, and I'm sure they will too. But thank you so much, Alban and Eva, for joining us today and being part of this practice. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And so many offerings coming in via the chat box. I, oh, yeah. I'm wondering, um, I'm, I, I'm hoping you'll, you'll be able to send those to me after we're finished today so that I can literally yes. see into Yes, we will have them on record and we can send them to you. Perfect. And, and then, then they can go into the treasure vase. Yes, I would very much like to do that um, in honor of all of these people who are joining us and offering their prayers. Every single prayer is important. Every single offering means something and, and, and goes out, ripples out into the web of life. Please know that. And it's not just a, you know, <laughs> blip on the screen in this moment. It's a, it's a real um, tangible uh, effect. And one of the things that's been so amazing about taking these treasure vases around the world into all of the cultures and communities is what happens after planting this seed in the earth. The things that take place, the people, the transformations and the awakenings and the, the actual um, efforts that are made in communities for uh, healing and change. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much 